Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I'll be showing you how to make a realistic thunderstorm effect that looks like this. So, yeah, and this was made all inside After Effects. So, let's get started. I'm going to make a new composition and drag in my footage. Then I'm going to go to the end of my footage right before. So here, here is my footage that I recorded. I just filmed this when I was in a car. And then I just, at the end, I just brought the camera down real fast. Like it, the car had been hit or something like that. So right when it gets to like there, I'm going to cut the clip and end the comp by pressing N. And then just fill that to the workspace, and then we get this. We may not want to end the comp quite yet. Probably more likely what we'll do is add a little black afterwards. So. Okay. Now for our color correction. It's very important to have good color correction on something like this, because I filmed this, as you can see, sort of in the afternoon, and I want this to be like evening, not quite night yet, but probably evening. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment just directly onto the footage and I'm going to just darken it. So that already is looking good and now I'm going to go into the blue channel and just bring that up as a whole and then maybe even boost the greens just a little bit. I don't think I'll do anything to the red channel. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, so there we have it. It looks like that's like a bad weather. Wouldn't want to be driving then. Especially if it was raining. So we have to add some rain. So I'm just going to add an adjustment layer and add on rain. So. CC rainfall, just add that onto the adjustment layer, and right away you have that. Now, I don't think that looks great, so I'm going to turn the scene depth up just a ton, and that way it'll sort of expand the area that the rain is falling in. It's looking a little better with, but we can turn up the drops. And so now looks better and now I'm just gonna duplicate this footage and bring it on top and make a mask where the where the car sort of the bottom of the car is in the shot so I'm gonna go to before that that's well the first frame that that's really there and make like a mask of it Okay, so I have that, then I'm going to hit M and set a keyframe for the mask path, and then I'm going to go back a few frames and just move all this down. So then I can just move forward and sort of adjust this mask position. And this we're just putting in front of the rain, so that way it looks a little more realistic. That's why that's here. That stays there for a while, and then maybe comes up a little bit. Oh, whoops. Created a new path. Okay, so I'm just masking some more doesn't have to be perfect this is just supposed to be a pretty rough thing because this is gonna go on top of where the rain would be so and I'm not gonna worry about it there cuz it's going down and I'm just gonna move this mask all the way off the screen so now we have this 
which is pretty good because you'll see this sort of covers up the rain from falling in the area where that is. That's why that's there. Okay, so now we have that. That's just going to help us. And another thing we can do is add, oh, uh, we already duplicated it. So it has the color correction, but you'll want to make sure that the same color correction's on there. Because if not, it'll look really weird with that color correction. There, so just make sure you turn that on. And then I'm going to um, name this adjustment layer. Um, I'm going to call this rain. Then I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this um, drops. Okay, so I'm just going to go into effect, simulation, and then the effect we're going to use is CC drizzle. So just drag that on there. And so now we have that, but they really, they spread out too much. This looks more like it's a puddle. So turn up the drip rate, turn up the longevity, keep the rippling where it is, then just turn down the spreading a lot. So just like little drops of water. So now there's like that. Even maybe turn down the spreading some more. Just really want a few drops. Turn up that drip rate. And you can actually turn up the, I would put the displacement pretty far into the negative and the ripple height, maybe turn that up a little, so you get sort of like that. Pretty nice rain effect. Now for the whitening. So I'm going to create another adjustment layer, and I'm going to name this one whitening. Oh, and I'm just going to move these drops below this um, masked footage. So now, the whitening. Look for advanced lightning. Here, that brings that on there. Then press composite onto original, so it's just on top. And then I'm gonna set the type to strike. So I'm gonna bring this lightning um, origin up to the top and the direction down sort of a little bit in front of the car. And maybe actually I'll bring the origin sort of into the sky a little bit. And that's looking okay. Now you can um, play with some of these. So go to the glow settings and maybe turn up the radius and down the opacity. And make the color like this whitish. And then press decay main core and turn down the decay so it doesn't, it's not until like the end that it really starts to decay. And then maybe turn up the forking, the turbulence. Um, go to the core settings. You can just turn up the core radius a little bit. That'll just like brighten it up. And that's probably good if you want. You can just play with some of this, some of these other settings. But that looks like pretty good lightning. So, oh, there. Okay. So now we have to figure out right before this camera sort of goes down. I'm going to hit, well, here. I should figure out where exactly. So I want it right there. So I'm going to hit T on this lightning. Set a keyframe there for 100, move back just like one, maybe two frames, go to zero, and move forward again, four frames, so two frames from there, and turn it down to zero, and we have a lightning strike. Actually, I'm going to just put those within one frame of each other so it looks a little better. Now this still doesn't look much like the example and that's because we're missing one more layer of color correction that's gonna sell the effect. So 
add in the, um, actually, yeah, we'll do this right to the white. Now, I'm going to add another adjustment layer. Okay, another adjustment layer. I'm going to rename this, um, lightning CC, color correction. Now bring curves onto here. Now, this, we're really going to have some crazy effects. So, sort of really boost all this stuff um, up here. And the blue, we can really keep that mostly where it is. Maybe boost that just a little bit too. Green, maybe add a contrast curve on that. And red, I'll leave where it is. Okay. So that's, it's not going to look like that the whole time. That's going to be right when the lightning strikes. So I want to go to the frame before the lightning strikes. Well, before, before the frame the lightning strikes. Hit T, set a keyframe opacity 0. Move forward 2 frames, turn it to 100. Move forward another 2 frames turn it to zero so this way we want this the um, brightness to be on twice as long as the lightning so it'll it'll look pretty good there okay so thank you for watching this tutorial if you liked it please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them also if you have any ideas for tutorials leave them in the comments below and I will try to make a tutorial on that if I know how to do it so thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.